Hello YouTubers, doing an oil change on a Bobcat 763. Here's your oil drain line. And it has a one inch fitting on the outside. And uh, the cap is seven eighths. That screws on in the end. Just waiting on the last the oil to drip out. That's where your oil filter goes. That's the fuel filter there. And then that's the hydraulic filter. And I'll be changing that in a few more hours. I'm at 992 hours. It's a 1998. It's pretty low hours for the year machine. There's the oil fill tube. I like to run clean oil after the dirty oil is drained to help flush out. Uh, right here, top of the valve cover. I poured about a half a quart of clean oil through there. Help flush out any dirty oil or debris that may be in the engine. The condition of the machines, pretty fair for its age. It's got some cement splatter on it from uh, the construction company that previously owned it. I picked this up about a week ago. Got a few attachments, some uh, pallet forks and a jackhammer. I think they call this a breaker, hydraulic breaker. All in all, not a bad machine for the age. Runs pretty good. Use a new seat. <laughs> Once I get that cement cleaned off, should be uh, looking pretty good. But we'll go back to the oil change. Bobcat 15W40. What you want to do is put clean oil around the ring, O ring. And I lost my rag. Right, my screws on. Instructions say when it gets snug, give it another three quarter turn. That's good. Get her tight, but not too tight to strip out the threads. And it just tucks away in there. The books say it takes seven and a half quarts with the filter. That fill tube there goes straight to the oil pan. One gallon containers. So that's four quarts.
and it shows the court lines on the outside. If you can see that. And we'll use three of these. Start it up, check the fill, and on the dipstick. It should need a half a quart more. Six. It's almost seven. Just a hair more. Something fired up. Warm the cloak plugs up. And you notice I'm missing the coolant tank cap. I have that on order for Bobcat. The UPS man's supposed to be bringing that along with the lens for the taillight. Dipstick goes right into the block. Full mark. I think we're good. Maybe a hair too much. And uh, here's your air filter. and outer filter. I haven't checked this yet. I've only had the machine uh, today. It'll make a week. Ooh, a little piece of something. Not sure what that's from. Changed at the thousand hour mark, also. Must have 
Oh, I see. Those are pieces for this little, uh, what's left of it. <laughs> little dust uh, cap in. Looks like I have to order that too. Also screws on. I'll need something to grab that. Not too bad. Be nice if they would have wrote the date on it. I'll blow it out with the compressor for now. filters here just another mesh That's good. And the cover. And it doesn't say top or bottom or anything like that, so. Any position's good. There's another piece of that. This is pretty much just dry rotted. Bobcat.com in order. Another one. Uh, it was a 46 uh, horsepower Kubota diesel V2203-E. I'm not sure what series motor this is. The T4 or the T, uh, I4 or T, even the T3 for the age. I'm not sure. Don't know that much about it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.